Gaming Bolt presents the 16 most addictive PS4 games. It turns out that greatness isn't waiting, it's already here. Sony is riding high on top of the market with their PlayStation 4 and it owes a ton of that success to the wide array of amazing games that have come to their platform and kept their players coming back day after day to play the best games for the gamers. The rules for this list? Well, these games aren't necessarily exclusive to the PS4, just on the platform, and really, really engaging, keeping players coming back again and again. Come and play in our world for a bit, won't you? Persona 5 The acid jazz-infused soundtrack and moving manga art style that so flawlessly defines the world of Persona 5 is only half of the charm of the game. Broken down into a day-by-day -day system where you balance the high school life of the protagonist with his secret double life as a demon-slaying phantom thief takes on a compulsive quality thanks to the charming characters and great story. Once you've said you'll just play for another day to make sure you pass the school midterms, it's suddenly 2am and you've gone another in-game month and cleared a dungeon. You've never seen it coming. Monster Hunter World Monster Hunters of the World have united under the latest entry in Capcom's long-running series, and the grand return to consoles was well worth it, finally making Monster Hunter less intimidating to try and expanding it into a breathing world has created one of the best lifestyle games on the PS4, with the super satisfying loop of hunting for loot and crafting it into better stuff to hunt with that just gets better with friends. Overwatch Blizzard has cracked the secret code to a long-lasting multiplayer game and effortlessly transferred their special voodoo magic into Overwatch. Constantly working on balance and dripping new content to their player base is what keeps it interesting for the fans, but the colorful cast of characters that make up the heroes of this game is what makes it truly special. Just when you get bored of a certain playstyle, there's at least a dozen more that you'll probably enjoy. Rocket League one of the oldest games in the world, it turns out that one of the best additions ever made to soccer was rocket-powered cars. Who knew? The ridiculous premise, natural competitive aspect of being a sports game and pick up and play fun of Rocket League would see the game rocketed to the top of the charts when it launched as a PS Plus title, letting the community explode from day one and just never really die, which speaks to just how addictive the game can be. Bloodborne Bloodborne has its hooks in you from the first terrifying cutscene and waking up in the abandoned infirmary right up until you finally unravel all the dark secrets the Yarnum and the Hunters have buried. To call Bloodborne a Souls game is a very surface level look at the game that has a very frantic visceral pace to the combat, befitting of the gothic setting it's very unique from its medieval shield using cousins. Once you wake up from the Hunter's dream the first time, the real question is, how long before you go back? Overcooked Too many cooks in the kitchen? Nonsense. Overcooked is one of the very few couch co-op titles on the system since online is such a big focus this generation. And when you get a group of friends all together to fight not only the zany shifting kitchens that test your coordination, but also your teamwork itself, it's just going to be a great time. Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain some fans might have been disappointed that Kojima didn't get the chance to properly close out the story of Big Boss in quite the way that they had hoped for, but the major strength of Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain comes in how it allows the player to create their own stories. One of the best uses for an open world in recent memory, the emergent possibilities that come out of giving Venom Snake a box of tools and letting us make up the rest as we went along is what we all remember the game for. What other game lets you surf a cardboard box down a sandy hill, pop up like a deadly jack-in-the-box, and send your robot rocket fist to knock out the guard that you want to tie to a balloon? Fortnite While Microsoft has PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds on lockdown on their console, PS4 faithful aren't completely left in the cold. The 100-man deathmatches of Fortnite are distinct from those of Battlegrounds, with the base-building mechanics seen within Epic Games' offering creating some really intense standoffs that make matches so memorable, and keeps players coming back to Fortnite. Many swear by this over the competition. Spelunky This spot could have been filled by any number of great roguelike games, Rogue Legacy, Downwell, Crypt of the Necrodancer, etc. But Spelunky stands as one of the best in the genre for the simplicity of the concept and controls, and how effortlessly the player can get proficient at the game. 
The purest example of a roguelite, Spelunky takes away the crutch of memorizing the level, meaning the player has to depend on skill growth in order to proceed. With each and every death, Spelunky asks you to have just one more go, because you're going to get farther into the caves this time. Right? Destiny 2 Bungie has been honing their craft with first-person shooters and sci-fi ever since the earliest days of the Xbox, and nowhere is that more evident than with Destiny 2. Any misgivings with the Eververse aside, the play loop and mechanical systems of Destiny 2 are super polished and satisfying, making the game easy to sink into after a long day at work. Stardew Valley The comfort of routine and growing something so carefully and slowly is what makes Stardew Valley special. Basically carrying the long-dead torch of Harvest Moon, Stardew Valley has players raise their grandfather's farm from nothing, finding that someone special to start their life with and maybe a little dungeon crawling along the way, with every little step of progress feeling huge. Rainbow Six Siege It had a bit of a rocky start, but Ubisoft has managed to turn Rainbow Six Siege around into one of the most engaging shooters on the PS4. Demanding precision teamwork, smart use of varied operatives, and communication to win matches, the tactical shooter is a mainstay on competitive gaming circuits. Thumper While you could probably consider Thumper to be a rhythm game, it's a far cry away from a rock band title. You scream down a track as a metallic beetle-like creature maneuvering around, over and through obstacles, and slamming down on notes in something that resembles a bad trip. The psychedelic visuals and oppressive soundtrack make Thumper great, but the title being completely playable in PSVR to really bring you into the experience makes the game extra special on the PS4. Nex Machina The original addiction games, score attack titles don't get a lot better than the offerings of Housemark. What something like Nex Machina loses in a cohesive story, the game more than makes up for with fast-paced action that sucks you back in for round after round. Next Machina split the difference with a level progression, but constantly challenged you to take on the twin-stick shooter ever faster and better. You come to slay the last robots, but you stayed for that sweet feeling of being on top of the leaderboard. Hitman While the seasonal rollout of content was a little bit of a hard pill to swallow at first, Hitman for PS4 really brought out the best in the social stealth series through the repetition it asked of its players. You were able to really learn each and every map in great detail, and through your knowledge figure out the truly masterful approach to bring out when there was a one chance elusive target to take down. Any chance at taking down Gary Busey is a chance to remember. Celeste Celeste is a lot more than just another super meat boy kind of hard as nails indie platformer, though you would be forgiven for seeing that from an outside look. While it is indeed a difficult game, Celeste earns that difficulty through its simple mechanics married to amazing level design, masterfully making sure that you're never given a challenge you aren't ready to overcome, and all contextualized by a really heartfelt story about self-doubt and depression. But once that story is over and you've fallen in love with the cast, it's the challenging secret B-side and C-side stages which recontextualize all of the mechanics throughout the game in unique ways and speedrunning that keeps you coming back to see what the mountain has to show you. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.